Hey, Balaji Sudarsanam here. You may remember me from previous films such as How to Not Punch People in the Face and How to Teach My Dog to Protect Me Using a Toothpick, a Pocket Watch, and Three Quarters of a Bag of Lint. But today I'm here to address a much more serious problem. Ladies and gentlemen, this problem is very real. Sure, we invented it back in 1942, but people are getting their hands on it more and more these days. What I'm talking about is a nuclear bomb. Bum, bum, bum. First thing that'll happen when a nuclear attack is coming is that a ridiculously loud siren will go off. This is probably from your town indicating that a nuclear attack is about to happen. But don't you worry, you'll know what to do. Now, when a nuclear bomb goes off, the first thing you'll see is a bright flash of light. Hey, I know nuclear annihilation can be a bummer, but I'm going to teach you how to survive using two simple steps, and that's duck and cover. What? That's so easy! Hold your horses there, Billy. It's not that easy. Like any good drill, you need to practice. Let's go to an example. Here's little Billy just taking a walk through his neighborhood when he sees something horrible. Litter. Being the upstanding citizen that he is, he goes to pick up the paper, but suddenly there's a bright flash of light. Billy's caught off guard, but he knows what to do. He quickly ducks and covers. A freeze! Now look at this position that Billy's in. Now that Billy's ducking and covering, he's protected from the atomic bomb. As you can see, he's covering his face and ducking against the curb. This way the blast can't move him anywhere and his face won't be horribly disfigured. That's how you duck and cover. Now, let's say that a nuclear attack happens while you're in your home. First thing you want to do is close your blinds. This way, the nuclear attack can't get in your house. Now after you've closed your blinds, the second thing you want to do is find a sturdy place. Yeah. Now, you want to duck and cover your face. But remember, a nuclear attack isn't going to wait for you. It could happen at any moment. When you're riding a bike, When you're taking a walk. When you're jogging. Even when you're trying to get into a car. As you can see, a nuclear attack can occur anytime and anywhere. But at least now, you'll know what to do. So next time a nuclear attack occurs, just remember, duck and cover. Now you know how to survive nuclear annihilation. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen.